Let's take a closer look at carrying out the experiment for evaluation of linearity on an example of pesticide analysis in tomatoes. Our analyte will be thiabendazole. And we have chosen to use matrix match calibration samples. This means we need analyte-free blank matrix. In our case, that would be tomatoes where there is no thiabendazole in it. We will be using tomatoes where we haven't detected any thiabendazole before, but to be sure, we will be analyzing one blank matrix together with the matrix match calibration samples. But before the LCMS analysis, the tomato goes through quetcher sample preparation. And as a result, we get tomato extract, which is our blank matrix. The second important component of the calibration standard uh, is the analyte standard solution. And that would be thiabendazole solution in acetonitrile. Now, the concentration range of uh, the analyte should be appropriate for the method. The maximum residue limit for thiabendazole in tomato is 0.05 milligrams per kilogram. So we want to stay around that concentration. Therefore, we will be preparing 10 matrix match calibration samples with concentrations from 1 microgram per kilogram to 1 milligram per kilogram, so that the concentrations are approximately evenly spaced. In order to achieve that, I'll be using two stock solutions with 1 and 10 milligram per kilogram concentrations. Now, let's start. First, I will be preparing the blank sample without any analyte added. Then I will prepare the first and the highest concentration standard solution, pipetting 100 microliters of thiabendazole solution with 10 milligrams per kilogram. And I will add 900 microliters tomato extract. And I will continue this with the other nine samples. calibration samples ready to be analyzed. In addition to sample preparation, their measurement protocol is also important. For else, 
CMS analysis, the measurement order of the sample is important due to the possible drift of the instrument. Therefore, we'll analyze all the samples, including the blank matrix, in a random order. And we will be analyzing all the samples three times. It is useful to analyze the samples in a manner as po similar as possible to the real life situation. It means if you have any other, for example, validation samples you have to analyze with this method, you can analyze them between those calibration samples. And now we are ready for analysis.